Hey Pokemon fans, welcome to Pokemon Fact of the Day, where I talk about something from the Pokemon universe you just might not have heard before. Today we're going to talk about Ash Ketchum, everyone's favorite ageless protagonist, and just what is up with his age. In the Pokemon anime, it's no secret. Either Ash Ketchum is proof that Ole anti-aging cream works, or the kid simply defies space and time in order to prevent himself from aging. There are a ton of fan theories out there that try and define this, but let's start with the facts. According to the official anime canon, how often is Ash's age mentioned? In the first episode, it's laid out nice and clear. Ash Ketchum is 10 years old. And now that I'm 10, I can finally get my Pokemon license! Ten-year-olds can get a beginner Pokemon from Professor Oak, the town's Pokemon expert. Since then, he's journeyed nearly 800 main episodes, across seven complete tournaments and countless large-scale adventures across multiple lands. He has even been shown sleeping from time to time, so it's not like he's caught in some kind of Groundhog's Day time loop. There are different days, sometimes. But speaking of time, let's look at the very few moments in the anime where time or age has been mentioned at all. The first commonly cited instance in the anime mentioning the passage of time is episode 63, The Battle of the Badge. Ash mentions that it's been a whole year since first visiting Viridian City. I can't believe it's been a whole year since we were here! Ah! So he's officially 11, right? Well, not exactly. The line mentioning a whole year is actually an edit for the English dub, so if we use the original Japanese script, it simply mentions that this time period has been a while. So for keeping the official score, Ash is now 10 plus a while? The next major mention of time passage in the anime comes in the short attached to the third Pokemon movie, Pichu and Pikachu. At the end of the film, Ash mentions that he's planned a celebration for the anniversary of the day that he and Pikachu first met. Don't you know what today is, Pikachu? This is the day we first met. The day we first became friends. I think that's pretty special, don't you? This isn't a dub edit either, so move over 10 plus a while. Ash is 11. The next mention of time, albeit a silly one, is a jump forward over six years to episode 469, the third in the Diamond and Pearl arc. Meowth mentions that Team Rocket has been chasing Pikachu for as long as Dawn has been alive. We've been after Pikachu so long, we're trademarked! It's around here that you can tell Pokemon is just messing around when it comes to the timeline, breaking the fourth wall for a brief moment to poke fun of the absurdity of it all. As Dawn is supposed to be 10 years old in the anime, just like Ash, we could take this seriously and say Ash is realistically 20 years old, but we won't. Because... Home to this young man, 10-year-old Ash Ketchum. In episode 658, the first black and white episode, Ash is mentioned to be, you guessed it, 10 years old. There's no getting around it, Ash Ketchum does not age. A lot of fans like to speculate just how old Ash should be, some say each league cycle should be a year, putting him somewhere around 17 to 18. Others estimate each episode at around a day, putting him at around 12 to 13. And while it's plenty of fun to speculate, the fact stands, the dude is 10. Possibly forever. The commonly accepted reason is that the director of the Pokemon anime wants the main protagonist to remain around the same age as the show's main demographic. Children around age 10. By keeping Ash at age 10, they solve this problem always giving the target demographic a protagonist they can relate to. Whether or not this is reasonable, though, is something that I'll touch on later. Although it would explain why Ash's seemingly level 100 Pikachu can lose to Trip Snivy in the first battle it ever did! Come on! It's just ridiculous! James Bond never ages, but we never question that after all of his missions. Bart Simpson never ages, Spongebob never ages, Mario never ages, Tim Duncan never ages. These are all characters meant to stand the test of time. Why can't Ash Ketchum be one of them? But for many fans, neither of these explanations really do that much justice, so a few fan theories have emerged, attempting to rationalize Ash's age in something that makes a little more sense. By far the most popular theory is Ash's Coma Theory. If I had a dollar for every time someone has asked me about this, I'd have enough for a 3DS, a copy of Pokemon X and Y, and this car! The theory, which started as a creepypasta tale, postulates that Ash actually went into a coma after being struck by lightning in the first episode, and every episode in the anime that follows is a result of Ash's dreamlike state, forever locked in a land where he can't age because he remains asleep in the real world. To be completely honest, I've always found this fan theory to be one of the worst out there. Don't get me wrong, I think that there are cool dark fan theories out there. Maybe someday I'll talk about the fan theory that the Pokemon world is the result of a global nuclear war. But for now, yeah, the coma theory just isn't that good of a read. 
It's really long-winded, an attempt to make every event in the anime the result of some kind of reaction in Ash Ketchum's psyche while he's sleeping. <sighs> oh, sorry. Just trying to read this thing put me in a coma. Another fun theory points back to the first episode, this time analyzing the ending, where Ash sees the not-yet-existent Ho-Oh fly overhead. One Pokedex entry mentions that seeing Ho-Oh grants the viewer eternal happiness. This theory states that Ash endlessly battling and collecting Pokémon without having to grow up is his eternal happiness, like some sort of alternate Peter Pan. The theory is the most sound of the bunch, although one does have to question the Pokedex entry for Ho-Oh, which didn't mention eternal happiness until Diamond and Pearl. Also, I don't know about you, but in my eternal happiness, I certainly don't lose the league championship every year! That is a direct violation of the theme song. The very best like no one ever was? I don't think so. So maybe no fan theory can completely cover Ash's ageless tendencies while still making canonical sense. But there are still a few things that the anime could have done differently to make things make a little more sense. One possibility is if Pokémon decided to change the protagonist with every new season, just like they do in the video games. Instead of Ash Ketchum leading the way each season, they could have transferred the title role to a new team of kids with each new season, with bringing back classic protagonists every once in a while that have aged. Plenty of shows have done this decently, such as The Power Rangers, The Legend of Korra, uh... Skins? Stop bothering me, I can't think of more examples right now. Actually, speaking of better examples, the Pokemon Adventures manga has done an excellent job of this so far, giving us a new protagonist with each series and sometimes bringing back the old. I highly recommend you give it a read if you haven't checked it out before. I know I've said it a hundred times, but it's great. Please, just read it. I honestly wouldn't mind seeing an anime adaptation of Adventures someday. The same way something like Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood is a direct adaptation of the original manga. I've heard rumors that say that this was something considered at numerous points in the anime, especially in the transition to black and white, where the land is a clean slate for all new Pokémon. And judging by the animated trailers that Pokémon made for Black and White 2, making these characters the protagonists might have been pretty cool. You know, come to think of it, this whole the protagonist needs to relate to the main demographic thing is total garbage. Look at the black and white protagonists! Koro Koro Magazine even mentioned that these characters are older than previous protagonists. Which brings about a second possibility for the anime. Why not implement a time skip? Time skips are a classic staple in a ton of anime and manga. Even when things don't make perfect chronological sense, time skips allow for characters to grow while still maintaining their main characteristics. The biggest example of this is the five-year time skip between Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. There's also a two-year time skip in Naruto. And don't tell me you can't just throw a time skip in for a series as old as Pokémon. Just look at One Piece, the best-selling manga in Japan. That manga has been going for 13 years, before they finally gave us a two-year time skip in 2010. So it can happen. Heck, some people have even theorized it might have happened already. Just look at Ash Ketchum in the debut for the new X and Y anime. Doesn't he look... older to you? Could we have just gotten the Pokémon time skip that we've all been waiting for? Oh wait. He just has teeth now. Well, uh, good for you, Ash. I really hope you go and eat things comfortably. Ultimately, the fact that Ash doesn't age is what you make of it. Longtime fans like me would love to see him age because ultimately, we have. But it's not super unreasonable if Ash remains a timeless character either. After all, the longer Pokemon stays around, the higher chance we'll have to relate to our future children on a character that we've grown up with our whole lives. And not all hope is lost. With new side projects like Pokémon The Origin, Pokémon seems to be taking small steps to let us know that they care we've been fans all these years. Although, one thing bothers me. Does Red age? I mean, look at him here in the trailer when he first gets his Charmander, and then here when he has his Charizard. Longer hair, backpack added, front-facing cap. If this Pokémon Origin thing becomes a one-episode special where they show a character aging, Pokemon's gonna have some serious splaining to do for why Ash hasn't aged a day in 800. Ugh. I'm looking too deep into this. I need a glass of water. Thanks for watching today's fact of the day. If you liked it, you can click here to subscribe to my channel and get alerts when my newest videos are coming out. It is just one month until the release of Pokemon X and Y, so in celebration, I'm running a giveaway with Swagbucks.com, giving away five copies of Pokemon X and Y to lucky winners who sign up. All you need to do to be entered for this contest is click the link in my description below, and where you sign up, click that part where it says I have a sign up code, enter THE JWITS. If you click my link and sign up here, you'll get 70 swag books right off the bat, 
and if you earn an additional 50 swag books on your own, you will be entered into the contest. It's really easy to earn bucks by doing things like searching, playing games, doing your regular shopping while clicking a special link from the site. At the end of the month, five lucky winners will get an email from the email account that they signed up with, letting them know that they have won their choice of Pokemon X or Y to come out right at the game's release date, October 12th. Good luck to you guys who enter, and if you've ever entered one of my previous contests with Swagbucks, you're already automatically entered into this one. Thanks as always for watching my videos, and I hope you are enjoying this last month of wait until X and Y as much as I am. See you next video.